Hi world, it's Wednesday the 2nd of August 2017. It's about, I don't know, about 11, 12 in the morning, late, late morning time. Um, the Jupiter-Pluto square is about to become exact. It's exact in a couple of days time. And I had an interesting email from an existing American, uh, well not a, not a client, but an American astrologer friend of mine a couple of days ago who, who pointed out to me that where Pluto is at the moment and where the full moon of early July of this year was and where Jupiter is about to square at the moment, this to this area of Capricorn, 18, 19 degrees, it is where Uranus and Neptune conjuncted each other uh, in 1992 and 1993. So for those people who are going through a year of intense and extreme situations with a lot of compulsive, obsessive, underhand, subversive, even behind the scenes tactics and underhand behaviour, look back, if you're old enough, to 1992, 1993 and see what else was going on for you in those days that was also life changing. I mean, if you look at world history at that time, um, it was the World Trade Center bombing in, in, in America. It was the uh, bombing of the city of London by the IRA in England. It was where the EU decided to abolish all trade controls. All, a lot of these situations are coming home to roost now. Um, it was also, of course, the time when Bill Clinton was being uh, elected for the first time. And uh, Clinton lied, but nobody died. And um, it was also, of course, the, the first signs of the burgeoning internet. It was the first 3D graphics. It was the first, it was the emergence of the internet as a definitive tool in the public domain. Although it was very proto at that time, but it was the start. And if anything, the Uranus-Neptune conjunction in Capricorn will be remembered as the birth of the internet, I suspect. Even though the horoscope for the birth of the internet goes back to, I think it's 1989. I think it's about 92, 93 that it really started to emerge into the world. So I do associate this period of time right now and in the next few days very much with the times of 92, 93, some 24, 25 years ago. And it'd be interesting to see amongst the older people here who remembers what was going on then. I say older, I mean older than 35, says he in his early 60s. Add to this, I do a lot of personal videos for people, monthly forecasts. I've done a lot in the last couple of days, been catching up with people. And more and more I find myself talking about how right now really is the pimple on the top of the boil for a lot of people in a lot of different situations. Because not only do we have the eclipses, and more and more I'm seeing clear signs that this eclipse in a few days time, the lunar eclipse, is even though the eclipse on the 21st, the solar eclipse, is a total and the lunar eclipse is only a partial, I'm seeing clear signs of how the lunar eclipse is affecting a lot of people individually, whereas the solar eclipse is much more of a global phenomena, both affecting the USA big time, obviously, while the lunar eclipse is also going to be affecting the Middle Eastern regions big time. But uh, a number of people are being affected by this lunar eclipse, seemingly, in a weird way, more than the solar eclipse, although why that should be, I don't know. But the eclipses are taking place during a Mercury retrograde. We are already in the Mercury retrograde shadow. Mercury is already in the area of the sky where it will retrograde over in a week or two's time. It does actually seem that the period of about the 8th to the 15th of August is going to be a very frustrating time for a few people, for about sort of 5% of the world. Those people who are born with planets around 10, 11 Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius, because as Mercury stands still for a week at 11 degrees of Virgo, it's going to be a very frustrating time for a lot of people. And what I find myself saying to a lot of people is because of the Mercury retrograde, which doesn't end till the 5th of September, because of the eclipses in the next three weeks, I'm saying to a lot of people, and I guess I'm also by extension putting this out into the world, that now and for the coming four weeks to five weeks is really not a good time to be making major changes of course. 
Now is not a good time to be launching or initiating, initiating anything brand new. It is not a time for a fresh start. Now is the pimple on top of the boil. Now is a time of stepping back, observing what's going on. Making decisions, yes. Choices, yes. Actions, no. Actions taken now and over the coming few weeks based on feelings, thoughts and information as is currently perceived will turn out to be wrong. And it's only going to be come the second week of September, from about the 5th, 6th of September onwards and probably around the 10th, 12th of September that people are going to be able to say, right, this is what I think, this is what I feel, this is what the pound stroke, dollar stroke, yen signs say. Now I can make informed decisions from a more integrated, holistic and assimilated perspective. But right now and for the next few weeks, make choices and decisions if you must, but keep them to yourself. Don't take actions till the second week of September. You'll be glad you did. Catch you later, world. Bye.